Dude. What's up guys, welcome back to Hybrid Heaven with Swift Crisis. Last time we left off, we were getting chased. And uh, as I do remember from last time, there will be a guy right here. Immediately it's going to be a, um, a spawner, so I got to actually take this out real quick. So it's kind of like a, a weird beginnings, but I'll get back to y'all after I finish this up. There wasn't too many of those guys this time, but I did learn a few things. Pick up some items, so that's pretty good. Man, it is so hot today. I'm actually sweating right now as of recording this, so it's like, I'm really like just drained of energy right now. I've been doing nothing but just drinking water and then sweating right out immediately. Kind of crazy. It's one of those days. But meanwhile, I, I ran into this random alien. Let me focus on the, focus on kicking his ass real quick. Nah, we, we, we blocked those, we blocked those. Ooh, okay. I wanted to grab him. Oh, here we go. Let's do, what's one of the new moves I learned? I think it's this. Brain Buster. He like he made a brain. With his skin looking. Can I get the from here? Yes, I can. Just sh 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 go to sleep. Sh 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 sh. We sleepy. He did go to sleep. I mean, we can do it again. He's sleepy. Do one more if we can. There we go. Now he's actually asleep. Forever. All right. I believe this next part will be. Yes, back in the main room. Getting chased. Okay. Okay. Got to do. We got to shoot. I'm gonna see if I can. If I can rush this. Nope, not even close. Well, at least he held me to the door. Thanks. Okay. I remember this part. I do not want to fall off. I think I game over if I fall off. Uh oh, he's back. I'm safe. Oh. Okay, I I fell. Scripted. Okay, I'm laid out, but uh, I'm fine. At least that's what my health bar says. Come on, Diaz, get up. Okay. Took eight years to look around, but now we're finally doing stuff. Let's see, we got a room right here. Some shit to shoot. Okay, let me check this out first. Okay. Got an alien dude. It's just a habit of me to just try to shoot at them for no reason, even though it does nothing. Let's get that early grab. Oh, never mind. Ooh, high kick. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Ooh. Uh oh, he's serious. Okay, let me check the fall. Reduce damage. Ooh, is this DDT? Look at my head. What the fuck? He just laid me out. Yeah, this is, this is, this is not good. Yeah. Yeah. My dude's too sleepy. Diaz, wake up, Diaz. Diaz. Uh, I'm pressing buttons, by the way. Okay, we up, we up, we up. Is it too late, though? Ooh, the side step. Okay, I need a, a medium charger. He just fucked me up. What should I learn one of those moves? Let's go ahead and take advantage. Do some damage back to him. Oh, Damn, he, he swings faster than me too. Can I escape? Of course not. Oh, he got me again. <sighs> he really trying to fuck me up. Oh, damn. Ooh. Okay, so if this is the same fate as last time. I can get up in time, right? Uh, this ain't looking like it. This ain't looking like it. I'm do like, what, one more move? Fucking get up, Diaz. Wake up. Wake up. Stop being sleepy. This dude's doing all types of moves. Okay, you gotta get up now, Diaz. Look at my body. Yes, he got up. Can I please roll? Ooh, let's go, Diaz. Run, my nigga, run. <laughs> he fucked up, look at him. I'm surprised he running. Damn, this nigga's a whole boss. I went to the wrong neighborhood. What's he gonna hear from way over there? 
Oh, that move. We keep going for it. What? Damn, isn't it? He's really fighting me. At least I learned something. Okay. Now I can finally do something because now he's out of uh, power options. Ooh, get back. He's coming at me. Uh oh. Ooh, I finally got hit. Hit the first. Yeah, how about this? I know some moves too. I know some moves too. Ooh, boy, get manhandled. I right, get out of my face. Oh, damn, he's still alive. Okay. This is a long ass match. What? He's healing too? Alright, I'm about to uppercut him. Knock his ass out real quick. Then I'm about to run up on him. Boston Crab him. This should do it right here. There we go. Very long match. Body. That's it. All that shit, only my body went up. Well, I guess everything else right here went up. And I learned some kicks that out of all the cool shit he did, I learned the most less cool looking ones. Alright, let's go. Where am I? What is this? Okay, I need to run somewhere that I'm not sure where. Okay, I gotta find the door. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is. Ooh, just barely. Ooh, a red place. Uh oh. Oh, he fucked me up. Camera's kind of weird here. Oh, he missed. He missed. What? Go, go, Diaz, go. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay, they made me stop. Oh, blew the walls off. Come through here. Hurry, this way. Uh oh, he just casually walks. Okay, I gotta do it myself, okay. Nice, we out. Yet another alien, no surprise. I'm glad I made it in time to meet you. You must be very surprised and confused of your situation right now. Let me tell you everything. You are Johnny Slater, the Secret Service to protect the President. Meaning that what you see, yourself, is not the real you. We are in New York, underground in an area called Manhattan. I hear your enemies saying this. In any case, we must leave this place. Do not worry. I am not your enemy. Yeah, you don't look too uh, intimidating. Come, let's go before they find us. I have to restore your body and memory. Diaz. So it turns out Diaz is not uh, actually Diaz. So that's kind of... Uh, kind of sad. I, I, I like saying Diaz. What's the matter? I see misgivings in your heart. I cannot blame you for feeling it. I will tell you something myself. Love myself. I am Gargatoire. There are many of my people in this faculty, kept alive and in cruel conditions. Our planet is in another nebula far away from this star. Oh, really? Sometimes, Many years are needed for interplanetary travel. In those cases, we will enter hibernation capsules and await arrival at our destination in stasis. Such was the case when we traveled to this planet, but we had a traitor among us. Uh oh. Ooh, look at him. We were all made to sleep for several extra decades longer than we were supposed to. When we awoke, we were under a dictator's rule, forced to assist in invasion. Have you seen the ceiling of this underground shelter? No, you have not seen it yet. On the ceiling is a huge saucer shape. This is our starship. In this underground shelter, we use during stays in other stars. It is usually stored in the starship. However, it has already suffered many subversions of its original design by the traitor and the clones he created. We are, in all probability, far more advanced scientifically than your civilization. Okay, brag. 
And of course, the traitor has the same body of knowledge. The treasure harvested the cells of this planet's inhabitants, created copies of the humans, in other words, a clone species of the human race. And he controls his creations absolutely. Okay, okay, he made clones. He has been planting his clones in this world, all as a part of his plan to invade this world. The day when the traitor and the clone species begin their full scale assault above ground is coming closer. Apart from the traitor, we Garcatrons are neither invaders nor looters. We really cannot comprehend how someone could plan an invasion of another planet came to be born out of our people. I read that kind of weird, but I'll take it. I am sending my words directly to your brain. You're receiving them, I assume. Well, probably not in a very courteous language. On this planet, there's the force that turns organisms belligerent. My words to you might be skewed to be misinterpreted as well. So I can be thinking he's saying like all types of just, just, just talking that shit to me right now. Now let's go. It is not safe to stay here. Okay, aliens, scooped us up, saved us from uh, a big old dude to get kicked past the wall. Good, we managed to rescue him. This task with limited equipment and time, an accident was inevitable. We were able to interfere, but the program was destroyed. His amnesia was really unexpected. Well, at least he's back here in one piece. Anyway, let's return him to his original state. I would not like him to misunderstand our intentions. Johnny, we apologize for having to use you in this way. But you were about to be gotten rid of, in other words, killed, once you were brought down here from the above ground. Please understand. You were abducted because you are one of the secret service agents assigned to protect the president. The enemy is planning to substitute an analog for the real president. But it is not easy switching the head of a powerful nation. Therefore, they choose to replace the relatively approachable presidential aides first, and then execute the real coup once the president was completely surrounded by clones. You were probably lured into the enemy's snare, abducted, and replaced with a copy. In fact, that very man you shot and killed when you pretended to be Diaz was a clone of yours. Diaz, we will show you your true appearance in his projection. Okay, that's me. Fresh, fresh, fresh. This is the real you. It is possible that you still do not know anything, but don't worry. In a short while, we will return you to your original form, your memories, your everything. We will never insert a strange program into you again. Please do trust us. Johnny, if you are still uneasy, I will tell you some more. We travel to many planets, collect all kinds of samples, but it's always been a strict policy of ours to refrain from interfering with other ecosystems, cultures, or politics on these planets. But this time, we had no choice but to do exactly that. We found it necessary to fight in order to prevent further damage to this planet. However, as absolute pacifists, we have no experience in battle. In addition, our physique, as you can see, is inadequate for such purposes. We need to help the people of this planet. That's exactly when we were able to rescue you from the enemies who abducted you from the above ground. Yeah, all the aliens got deep voices. It's just how it is. We do not have the strength, but we do have the brains. It is hard for us to beat the enemies, but abducting them was not impossible. Capturing and imprisoning one called Diaz was not that difficult either. Oh, damn, they called him free. Look at him. We placed Diaz in chronostasis and turned you into a double using our coating technology. We did all this for you to stop the replacement of the president, which is about to happen above ground. Fortunately, Diaz was also the one in charge of liaising with the overground. We made a temporary recording of your memories in a mnemonic device and inserted a program into your brain to allow you to act in such a way as to sabotage the enemy's plans under Diaz's disguise. The rest, you've experienced. The VIPs close to the president of the nation are the buffers from here, and many other important people around them have already been replaced by clones. The fate of the planet is about to change, but there is something no more we can tell you. What? Wait, what? I read that kind of wrong. Went too fast. All we can do is aid you, a native of this planet, to the limit of our powers. I do not want to sound irresponsible. 
I am not exaggerating, you are the last hope for saving this planet. Perhaps it is also part of the grand design that this planet be ruled by a new power. If we are to die here, that may be destiny as well. The end of one thing is also the beginning of another, and nothing more. But is this not why you and me must fight? The end and the beginning are locked in never ending conflict. We will give you whatever help you needed, and the rest will be up to you. Johnny, I will restore your appearance. This way, we will give you back yourself. Okay, put me in the pot. I will remove the DS coating that was applied to you. Do not worry, there will be no pain. Good. I don't want to drop to 1 HP doing this. That girl that we only seen at the beginning and probably never again after this. We finally done what had to be done. Now, we must not forget to tell him that he has the enemy's armored suit on underneath his coating to match his build to Diaz's. Diaz? Wait. Oh no, someone's coming. What are we going to do? Okay, then y'all cannot sit there. Uh oh, the feds. Hey, old generation Garcatrons. You may think you're hiding from us, but I have my eye on you at all times. But this is a little unusual. Why should you help Diaz? Diaz, you're plotting something. You think a hybrid that lost his memories could be of some use? Well, it doesn't matter. Hand Diaz over now. Uh oh. To think you'd end up like this. Frozen by these helpless little Gonkatrons. Pathetic man. Damn, even he's talking shit about him. I don't get why Hunter won't get rid of this loser. Of course, he was really something until a few days ago. Get him out of here. And you'll all be coming with me too. You can tell me what you were up to somewhere more comfortable. Okay, still my buddy. Just goes to show you that you can't slack off. These Garcatrons may be helpless, but stupid they are not. We had better consider getting rid of them once and for all, but first, we shall start with cleaning up here. Uh oh. Ooh, they have the nuke. They have the bomb. Okay, my pod is, uh. Ooh, here I am. Okay. I'm confused. Oh look, a convenient hole. Ah, here we go. Sliding the DMs. And now we're in another area. Dope, dope, dope. So I'm going to end this one right here, guys. Uh, Very dramatic stuff that just went down. So I guess our current mission is now saving the president, but now we have a submission to uh, save our, our alien buddy, the Garcatrons, which should be which should be quite the adventure. So when we get back, we're going to do just that. But until then, see you next time. Yeah.